Today guys we're gonna go through one of the combo I'm using in RTA This combo is extremely fun and it's gonna delete a lot of the units uh, I'm gonna explain how the combo works, I'm gonna show the runes of the units that I'm using for the combo and uh, also we're gonna have a look at some replays so you understand I'm gonna show you how um, it works so you can get com confident and familiar with the combo and you can try and test it yourself if you want to um, as always if you have questions ask in the comment below uh, let's go for it we're gonna have a look at the units at the runes uh, artists of course and then I'm gonna show you a couple replays uh, so you see how it goes I was I was using this combo long 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 time ago it worked for a bit then it didn't work so I changed um, and now I changed the, the last probably three weeks of the RTA season and we ended up um, in G2 and <laughs> we finished G2 for the first time as well so I kept on using it and it's going okay as well so yeah all right the combo is Vanessa and Taylor now obviously I use Ash El Sheer to get turn one if they're going for speed and most people go for speed now, I'm not gonna lie, most people go for turn one. Uh, but also Lagmanon is pretty good. Either Teo or Lagmanon, or even both of them work pretty well with Vanessa. Uh, if you have Dark Monkey, I would suggest you use the Dark Monkey as well. If I had Dark Monkey, I definitely would use Dark Monkey in this team. I'll build Dark Monkey on Swift as fast as possible. So if the opponent is going, you know, for outspeeding you, that off will, you can use skill free with the Dark Monkey. Uh, which stuns and defense break as well if they are on will where's the monkey anyway if they are on will you can just use skill 2 which is the same skill 2 as Vanessa uh, you strip defense break and then you know there is a squall going on right after so that's how it works Vanessa move skill 2 strip defense break into squall from Taylor or Lagmaron I usually use Taylor because then on turn 2 you actually have CC, which is really good. And if the CC land, guess what? You're taking another turn. Vanessa is defense breaking again, and Taylor is squalling again. And you can delete something else. Um, Lagmaron works the same way, but the, um, the CC on Lagmaron skill free is way weaker than the skill free on Taylor. So obviously, Lagmaron has a lot higher base speed. It's a lot easier to build, to be honest with you. Uh, but Taylor has a very, very good skill free. So, yeah, I wish Taylor wouldn't awaken into crit rate because you don't really need it. Um, I wish you were awakening to accuracy. It would be really, really good. But yeah, as I said, Vanessa is on Swift. Just starts uh, faster than the Chimeras, basically, and then max accuracy. Uh, and minus damage is good. Max accuracy uh, skill too is really really important. Uh, Taylor is like this: is on swift will and his speed, crit damage, and attack, and then crit damage lines are pretty good. But also accuracy skill free is pretty good. You want as much accuracy as possible on skill free. If you can get max accuracy, that would be ideal. If you can't, try to get as much as possible. I'm not gonna lie. At that point. Um, I would rather have accuracy skill free on the RT rather than uh, crit damage lines. Speed proportional is not the best. I would say it's better to have crit damage line here. I'll try to change actually, I forgot. Uh, but yeah, try to focus on accuracy because if you do defense break with her and you have actually boosted and speed buff to that Asher, if you defense break, the tail is gonna kill. So don't really need. Obviously, it's good to have crit damage lines, it's gonna hit harder, especially if she doesn't land the defense break, but otherwise, yeah, I would focus, I would um, prioritize the accuracy. And Taylor is like this, but Taylor is on attack, crit damage attack, and then just, you know, some accuracy. Uh, crit damage lines, for sure, on uh, Lagmanon. Accuracy, yes, this is not like that bad, it's just 75% though, so it's not as reliable. Uh, so I don't have that much accuracy, I just focus on uh, damage here. Uh, so these are the units. If I had Dark Monkey, I would definitely try the Dark Monkey, I'm not gonna lie. Let's watch some replays, so we see how it works. 
We did win against Nicholas. That's my second time I defeated Nicholas in Special League. Um, I'm proud of it. So proud of it. So we punished Shizuka because we didn't have a really clear way to kill her. And then, yeah, Vanessa, does she land it? She does land it. And then Taylor is going to score for 50, almost 50, <laughs> 51k on skill 2 score, which is every other turn. <coughs> Now, if you want to build Taylor on Valent, you can, uh, but Taylor on Valent is a lot harder to build. You also need accuracy still, you need a lot of speed on Valent, and then if you don't outspeed the opponent, he's not going to crit on skill too. So, very, very hard to build on Swift, on Valent, sorry, uh, but if you want to, go for it. Uh, obviously, if he procs here, and then a Tableau, yes, yeah, skill 2 are again already, but Vanessa doesn't have defense break anyway, so... Valence would be better for the skill free, but yeah, I mean up to you. And now Tablo does that, and uh, I strip the kinky, and guess what? I can CC pretty much everything with Taylor. The only problem with this against this team was the Jameer. As it is win, I can actually glance on it, and I can actually miss the attack by decrease and the slow, which I think it happened. Yeah, so it happened that. But then we're moving again. The problem, okay, yeah, because I had the speed buff, so she didn't move in front of Taylor. Also, I have speed proportion to loss HP, so that doesn't work. So I need to change that, but ideally, it would have worked this way. She would have defense broken again, it would have killed something else again. I mean, I think it killed that, I didn't. But I guess the kick is here blocked, so it's fine. And then, that's that, and it's pretty much over at this point. Tableau also stun. Comes back with attack buff, but guess what? Abelio also prog uh, and so on, guys. But we won this. We managed to heal, um, bring back Mr. Um, we heal block him again with that shear, so Abelio can't really heal him. And then we bring back the tail eventually as well. Can be healed. <laughs> And he's gonna die. There you go. And that's it. And then we have another replay here. I'm pretty sure that Theo didn't get banned here. Uh, but it works the same way. I rarely use Lagmaron because at that point I might as well just pick Sonia because she just ignored defense. Especially after the last buff, I'd rather pick Sonia. But sometimes, if there is too many wind units on the opponent's side, I do pick Lagmaron. So I can still scroll and then a skill free can actually land. Um, skill free of Taylor. Wait, 49k into, <laughs> into Oliver. And he's going. I was going to say um, skill free of Taylor into wind team. It's really risky. He can kill with skill 2 anyway, but skill free might not land at all. So yeah, Lagman on that case is probably better, uh, but overall I prefer to bring, like here I could have stripped that, so I could have frozen a skill free, damn free. Uh, it's kind of risky though, because it might happen that um, he doesn't get decrease attack bar, and then, you know, or he might miss on some of them, and then he gets stuck again, you know, he's going to start resetting everything, uh, but yeah, then we land that. Obviously, she procs, <laughs> she creates some water as well. And then he creates 24k without defense break there. That's not too bad as well. And then I think he procs again. The mouse. Wow. My tablet also going crazy. We heal. He dies to the dot, but he procs. Like that thing, I don't understand why it's a thing. If you die, you can't proc, right? How do you proc if you just died? But hey, it is what it is. And then, yeah, just skill one there so we can skill to the next turn. I mean, I don't think he even move anymore. Oh, he's playing. Okay, and we win. And last replay I wanted to show is, I think it's this. Pretty sure it's this. So this guy banned the Sonya. And uh, Taylor just goes pretty crazy here. So speed buff. 
the, oh, we missed a defense break. So at this point, I'd rather kill that. And that was the old plan anyway. Actually, I want to kill this. And then I force skill three into skill three into skill two. Skill one, sorry, was gonna kill the Aetna. Um, it was kinda okay that I didn't defense break that because the Aetna was actually tankier than I thought. Um, we still did 19k, which is not bad without defense break. Uh, but I would expect that not to be like really, really low. <laughs> Honestly, I would expect that. And then we do that. So even when Vanessa missed the defense break, we still can do damage and we still can CC. So I try to kill that when I, I mean, she's gonna die now. We also defense break, the skill free. There's 19k. Wait, is it not 50% damage that spread? How am I doing 1.8? Either way, we landed the slow and the attack bar reduction here, but we missed both the attack bar, which is bad because it's gonna actually uh, boost the cigar, obviously. It's gonna do that. And then, yeah, I mean, it was pretty much over that point. Um, I mean, it wasn't really over at that point, but we, man <laughs> we managed to actually win. And then we went for Cigar, he didn't even kill there, I'm surprised, and then Cigar dies, 36k, um, without speed buff though, that wasn't bad at all. Then Taylor comes back as well, we defense break that thing, we don't have skill, we don't have skill 2 here, but I do have 51% crit rate, which on fire means it's 66, so we did crit on skill 1, if you crit on skill 1, it does <laughs> 17k, I mean with attack buff, so the the Rakuni died and GG. Alright guys, that's it for the video. If you have a question, ask in the comment below. I'll definitely answer, of course. Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody. Take care guys. Stay safe. Bye.